Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pick a place and then show that place with a pin on a map. So if you have an app and you want to show the user where a place is, this is ideal and this is something you want to start implementing into your app. So just keep watching if that is something you want to know how to do. Okay, so now we just open Xcode and we start a new project. It's going to be a single view application and the product name I'm just going to call it map and make sure that the language is set to Swift and then click next and I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Now I'm also going to put it in full screen and the first thing we want to do is we want to visit the storyboard and we want to drag in the all important map kit view because if we don't do this then it's going to be pretty hard to display a map. I'm just going to place it all over the view and I'm going to place some restrictions so that it appears nice, ordered and centered. So now we basically have done everything that we need to do in terms of laying out the storyboard, but now we also have to connect it to our code and we do this by simply dragging it in and naming it a map. It's going to be an outlet and just click connect. Then we're going to jump over to the view controller code and um, we of course we have to import or not of course but we have to import mapkit. So that's the first step. So now we have imported our map, we have imported the mapkit framework and now the next step is to zoom in uh, on our map so that the user is zoomed in on the location that we want our user to see. So we do that before placing the annotation. So first we're just going to create a span and that is really uh, the only thing a span means is how much zoomed in we are on a certain location. So we're going to put in mk coordinate uh, span mk coordinate span make and we're going to set the latitude delta to 0 0.1 that's the standard or default thing to do but of course you can put in anything you want here but this will give us a, an all right zoom on the location that where we want our annotation to stick next thing we have to do is we have to define our location so this is going to be a cl location coordinate to d a fancy name and as if you have guessed it cl location coordinate 2d make so we're going to make this location now we're going to need a latitude and a longitude coordinates now the way or one way to find this is to visit safari and go to google maps and google maps is so awesome that we can search for uh, let's say san francisco and i'm going to pick a random place in San Francisco. I'm going to, uh, I want to place my annotation in the inner sunset right there. And I'm just going to click on um, of course, this is going to be named something else in English, but here uh, it's translated. It is what exists here or something like that. But I think you will be able to find it. And you're just going to take these locations right there or those two coordinates. So that is going to be our longitude and our latitude. So first off our latitude and then our longitude. So now we have created our location that we want our map to be zoomed in on. The last thing we have to do in terms of zooming in our map is to also create a region which is going to be an MK coordinate region and it's going to be mk coordinate region make and now we just put in the location and the span so we're putting in the location and how much we want the map to be zoomed in on that location and the last thing we do in terms of that is just say map.set region is equal to region and whenever I can get something animated, I'm just going to make that true. 
So now we have zoomed in on our location and if you want to check that that's the case, go ahead and launch the app. Everything should work fine. But now I also want to place the annotation on the exact same place. So I'm going to say, I'm going to create an annotation and it's going to be an MK point annotation. And now we want to add some information to that annotation. So the annotation dot coordinate is going to be the coordinates of the location. And now we're just going to define the title, which is going to be, in my case, my shop. Shop and annotation dot subtitle is going to be come visit me here in my shop. Okay. So that's the title, the subtitle of the annotation. And the last thing we do is just add the annotation with the name annotation. Simple like that. So now we should have our app fully functional, fully running. And as you will see, we have first zoomed in on the location that we want our user to be focused on. And then we place the annotation on the exact place where we want it. So let's see how this looks. So here is our app. Here you can see we have placed an annotation exactly the place we wanted it. We have placed it on the inner sunset. And if I click the annotation, it says my shop come visit me here. So that's all there is for this tutorial. I'm just going to quickly go through what we did. We imported the map kit frameworks that enable us, enables us to start working with maps. Then we imported the map and we zoomed in on the map by defining these variables and then saying to the map, hey, we want to be zoomed in on this region, uh, which is this one right here. Then we made an annotation. We set the uh, location of the annotation to be equal to this location right here. Then we set the title and the subtitle of the animation before we added it to the map. So that's really all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for my future videos. And once again, thank you for watching.